morning everyone children today we will start science lesson 2 adaptations in animals in this lesson we will read about habitat animal adaptations and migration the place where an animal lives feeds and reproduces is called its habitat habitats are of different kinds habitats are broadly classified into terrestrial and aquatic they are further divided into different types so let's start with the terrestrial habitat the first one forest a forest is a large area where there are different kinds of plants growing together in a forest there are lots of trees and most of them are very big and dense animals such as monkeys rabbits live in forests forests are home to many birds and insects next grasslands grasslands are wide stretches of areas having wild dry and tall grasses examples zebra deer leopards live in grasslands next deserts deserts are extremely hot and dry regions they receive very little or no rain examples camel snakes desert rats live there next mountains mountains are large landforms which have cold temperature and usually have rough surfaces examples mountain goats yaks etc next the polar regions these areas are covered with snow throughout the year examples polar bears penguins are found there next comes the aquatic habitat the first one oceans and seas about 70% of the earth's surface is covered by oceans and seas which have salty water different species of fish octopus live in the oceans and seas fresh water is present in rivers lakes and ponds they are home to many kinds of fish shrimps turtles etc now let's start with animals adaptations the process by which animals make physical and behavioral changes to adjust to their natural environment or habitat is called adaptations the adaptation in animals are based on different characteristics such as feeding habits body coverings breathing mechanism movement so now let's start with the feeding habits based on different feeding habits animals are divided into herbivores carnivores and omnivores so let's start with the herbivores animals that eat plants or other plant parts are called herbivores example horses cows etc they have sharp incisors for biting and pulling out plant parts and strong premolars and molars to grind it next the carnivores the animals that eat flesh of other animals are called carnivores example lion tiger etc they have well developed canines for tearing the flesh and the next omnivores animals that eat both flesh and plants are called omnivores example bears humans etc they have moderately developed canines incisors and premolars next topic is adaptations for body coverings the body coverings of an animal helps it to survive in its habitat now let us see the different body coverings of different animals which helps them to survive feathers shell fur and wool scales and quills now study it in details feathers birds have different types of feathers on their body some feathers helps them to fly other feathers protect them from rain and cold next is the shell animals such as snails have shell on their body which they use to protect themselves when in danger next fur and wool animals such as bears rabbits have fur on their body to which helps them to keep their body warm and protect them from rain animals like sheep have wool on their body to keep their body warm next the scales animals like snakes fish have scales on their body to protect their soft body 
quills and the cuticles. A porcupine has sharp needle-like spines called quills on its body. And some insects have cuticles which is a water resistant. Example armadillo. Next topic is adaptations for breathing. Different animals have different organs for breathing. Land animals. Land animals, they breathe through their lungs. Example, birds, mammals. Aquatic animals, they breathe through their gills. Example, fish, crabs, amphibians. They breathe through their lungs when on land and through wet skin when in water. Example, frogs. Insects. Insects breathe through special holes called spiracles present on their body. Example, grasshoppers, cockroaches, etc. So children, today we have dealt with the topic habitat with its types, animal adaptations which are based on feeding habits, body coverings and breathing mechanisms. Next day we will deal with the movement and the migration. So today's assignment is to read the lesson nicely and learn the different examples under different topics. Thank you.